So usually when people start selling on Etsy, one of the main things I always hear is that Etsy is oversaturated or there's too many people competing for a particular product, therefore it's not worth selling. However, what if I told you that there's a simple thing you can do to actually find products that are selling extremely well, that has great demand and low competition, and you can literally find hundreds of products just like this. Well, in today's video, I'm gonna share with you my process to find micro niches without there being a lot of competition, but still show a great level of demand and how to identify what type of products are selling well in this space. I'm sure this all with you coming up next. So welcome back to the video, my friends. If you're new here, my name is Jay. And on this channel, I teach you how to make income online by creating and selling your own products. So if you like content like this, then consider subscribing to my channel. Now, the main tool that we're going to use today to help us find these micro niches is Sell Samurai. Sell Samurai is a great tool to use for you to do massive research on a large scale when you are trying to find different type of products to create. And again, it helps you identify things to create based upon the searchability and the level of competition. And from there, you're able to determine the level of demand for that product. And I specifically like using this to find micro niches is because of this little thing here. It helps you see what keywords are actually being searched up. And again, of course, the search volume for those keywords and the level of competition. And from here, you're able to find additional micro niches you can start selling in and definitely start serving in. And so we're gonna jump into to my computer i'm sharing with you exactly how to use this specific format here to find micro niches and so you can start making sales on etsy now if you want to check out sell samurai on your own they were so kind to give my audience a discount code to actually use their particular software at a major discount i make sure i leave all the details in my description box below so you can get a major discount to use this on a monthly basis and start utilizing this product for your etsy business all right, so here we are in Etsy. And one of the things that I like to do before I even get started is to just go up in the search bar and utilize some of the things I taught you in my other videos, add in people or profession. So in our case today, we definitely want to add in nurse shirt. And the cool thing about Etsy is that it's gonna auto populate for us anyway, the term that's being searched up. Again, it's going to show us the highest search term that's being searched up at the top and the lowest search term that's being searched up at the bottom. Now, some of these definitely will have in, you know, specific seasons. We have nurse shirt Christmas, and obviously we have to be mindful of, you know, what season that we're in, if we're close to the season or we at the peak of the season. And we definitely have to anticipate the search volume to increase as time go by. But one of the things I just want to note here is that Etsy it only gives us so many search terms that's being searched up and without this tool that i'm using here you won't see the level of searches per month that's happening but if you notice here on my searches i have a specific number coming up and this is all with the help of sell samurai as to giving me indication regarding how many people are searching up this term per month now i'm able to make better decisions in regards to you know what niches to target and what keywords to use in my titles and tags and so from here if i know nurse shirt is doing well obviously there's a ton of search volume i like to go to just the search results and see what's coming up so two things i like to confirm number one searchability and i also want to make sure that people are buying certain products so we know here that people are searching up nurse shirt obviously we, we see this at the top of the search bar with etsy and of course the numbers here are just you know outrageous in regards to how many people are searching this up but usually when you go down to the level of competition here you will see that this is you know over 300,000 search results coming up and automatically somebody will say well this is too many people to compete with we don't want to create a generic nurse shirt we just want to search up a term that we can first of all prove searchability but second prove demand that means what type of products are selling well and so from here i like to identify best selling products that are selling well in these best selling products you'll see two things number one you'll see what designs are selling well obviously we see custom nurse shirts are doing well this type of nurse shirt is selling well this nurse shirt is selling well best sellers are proving a ton of demand but if you look at the beginning of the title you will then find additional keywords to target as well that will help you narrow down your niches a little bit more we have this keyword registered nurse shirt we know this is doing well and even the pocket area shirt is doing well we see this shirt here 
nurse shirt for work cute nurse shirt and so we know that's a term we can use in our titles and tags as well here's another term we can use best-selling product rainbow nurse shirt so when you search broad you're able to see these different type of terms that you could possibly use and of course be mindful of the season that we're in and definitely adding in some things here and as you can see here groovy nurse shirt is another term you can use now if you notice here Etsy did not give us all these additional terms like groovy nurse shirt or rainbow nurse shirt or vintage nurse shirt in the specific keyword results. This is something that you really have to go and look for if you do not have a tool like Sales Samurai. Now, the cool thing about this is that Sales Samurai give us 500 additional terms that are being searched up that's not visible in this search results that's coming up this search bars results that's coming up again we see rainbow no shirt groovy no shirt but if you notice here i'm doing all this manually i will have to go here and actually identify what keyword is being used for this specific product here it is leopard nurse shirt but the only bad part about that is that i don't see the level of search volume for this shirt or the level of competition and right now i'm only up to what maybe seven additional terms i found but again when we use this sales samurai tool we're able to see 500 additional keywords that's tied to this main search phrase so once we click this button we're able to see additional search terms that we can use just not for our title but also for our tags and from there truly find more products to create and find more of those micro niches that's going to be great in search volume but we definitely want to make sure that we lower our competition so we can show up and be visible in etsy search so let's click this more button here and see what terms are coming up all right, so here we are further in uh, sales summary keyword suggestion opportunities for us to see more of things that's being searched up regarding our main search phrase, which is nurse shirt. Now, the cool thing about this part of sales summary is that not only is it good for us to utilize for keywords, but this is where you're able to find these micro niches that, again, the SE search bar did not reveal to us, but that's actually being searched up and actually have some great demanding products in it as well. And so what it's doing here is that it's taking my basic term nurse shirt and it's giving me additional keywords which these are additional niches just not the keywords we can use in our titles and tags but these are additional niches i can possibly sell in if there are of course a large search volume for this low competition and definitely if it's proven demand with different type of products that are in and demand with the best sellers badge and 20 plus people in the cart and so three things i like to focus on just to give it to you now is number one how many people are searching this up per month but also it shows me the love of competition now specifically i like to keep my competition low especially if i'm trying to target a micro niche then obviously the competition needs to be low right if i see things that has over a hundred thousand search results then that's not a micro niche that's a large niche because it's have a lot of competition but if i am trying to narrow down my specific niche to a micro niche then i need to target something that's less than ten thousand. once i start hitting over ten thousand, then i definitely want to be mindful of the level of competition that's coming up for that key phrase the third thing is i can open up these individual terms like i see here the nick you shirt i can open up this additional term and then it will take me back to etsy just to prove some things here level of competition but also to identify okay are there any best-selling products in regards to the NICU shirt now I know our competition is 34,000 but I'll just make a point here before we go and actually find a shirt to create first of all I see here that this is a term that was not shown in the Etsy search bar so I'll go back to our term here and we just simply put in nurse shirt and if you notice here as we did this already nurse shirt is only showing us you know several different keywords that that's coming up if you notice here we don't have the NICU or the NICU shirt that's coming up in the search results and this is what I mean by a whole new micro niche that can afford us a ton of sales but if we're just utilizing the search bar itself we're going to miss out on the opportunity to sell this type of products so number one i like to make sure it's something that's searched up searchability i like to make sure that the competition is lower so i can actually sell well here i know this is thirty-four thousand, but i'm going to make a point here regarding the third thing i look for is making sure that products are in demand so for instance here i see this nicu nurse shirt is in demand again we would not have seen these type of micro niches without utilizing a tool like sell samurai where we're able to quickly identify a brand new micro niche that we can start selling in and start getting some revenue for our products here's another one combining a specific micro niche to a specific season so we've seen this already with the halloween shirt but we also have this for the fall season shirt but the point here of me opening this up from sell samurai is just to confirm that there are specific products here 
in the NICU space that's doing well. But again, you can see here that this is a NICU shirt, best selling product. And again, it has a cool little phrase here that's tied to this niche. Now, again, the reason why I say all this is because this is not showing up in the Etsy search when we search up nurse shirt. But again, going to this sales summary tool, seeing additional keywords being used. These keywords are really micro niches that all these things could possibly make us sales. And we're just talking about one profession here, just nurse shirt. We're not talking about teachers, how that can go down the rabbit hole in regards to different teacher shirts. We're not talking about specific occasions like weddings or new mom or new dad or new home. We're not going into seasons to tap into all the amazing seasons and additional terms that could be found. Now, one of the things I like to do, however, is go into the search volume here up in the top and set this to be a filter. That means I can set things for the search volume to be a filter. I can set things to do competition for the filter. And but in regards to this filter here, I can plug in things and say if I don't want my search volume to go lower than let's just say 300. If you don't want anything to show up less than 300, that means 300 is the bottom floor. Then we'll put in 300 here. We'll leave the top open. But in regards to competition, we want to make sure that the ceiling doesn't go above a certain number. So the from the lowest can be anything, right? But in regards to the love of competition, we don't want it to peak over a certain number. So right now, I'm just going to put in 10,000. But in, really, in regards to competition, I'm not more so afraid of the high number because competition just lets me know things are selling well. There's different type of launch strategies, sales strategies, design strategies you can do to outbeat competition. I have done that personally in my shop. But just to give you a number to target, if you are new, I would say 10,000. And then from there, we can make some changes in regards to how well we can increase this. I definitely try to stay away from things that has 100,000 level of competition. And so if you do want to have a number, start off with 10,000. If you do want to have a number, definitely don't peak over 100,000. And then the cool thing here is that I can just filter this and just in seconds. Sell Samurai already gave me 28 possible keywords niches i can start selling in that meets my criteria so i know anything that's on my screen for the 28 keywords is not going to go lower than 300 searches per month and it's not going to go above 10,000 competitive listings so everything on here could be great possible products to create in these micro niches and so from here i can see of course the keywords i can see level of search volume so as you can see here nothing is going lower than 300 so i love that there and again i see the level of competition as you can see here nothing is going above 10,000 here but now we want to confirm okay are people really buying this type of shirt so i will open this up into etsy and again i'm looking for bestsellers badges or 20 plus people in the carts but obviously as you can see here just for our first you know couple listings here we already see a bestsellers badge right we already see a bestsellers badge here you know we already see a bestsellers badge here this is already giving me good indications that this type of product is selling well. And just to confirm here, from Etsy side, the level of competition has met our criteria. It's not above 10,000, but it's still showing some type of demand for this product. Now I would definitely go in here and make a list of products that's selling well, and I would learn additional keywords from their title and tags and again learn design elements that's doing well and, and try to add in some unique things from different niches into this space that may not be represented here so as you can see finding these micro niches is really easy to do once you have a tool like sales samurai where you're able to do massive research in regards to the level of search volume and competition and of course finding demanding products now if you want to try out sell somewhere on your own they will so kind of give my audience a discount code for you to try this out and to see if it is best for your print on demand business now in today's video i didn't have time to go through the entire process of how to set up an etsy shop but if you want to learn exactly the step-by-step -step process to get your print on demand business up and running, then check out this next video here. And if you want to learn more about how to make income online, then consider subscribing to my channel here. So always my friends, my name is Jay, and I will see you in the next video.